This is Bumper to Bumper TV. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 2015 North American International Auto Show. The best way to steal the limelight at the auto show is to get out there ahead of everyone else. And this year, Buick had one of the first opportunities to get into the media spotlight. The premium brand, which does extremely well in China, is flexing its styling muscles again with the Cascada, a soft top convertible, the first rag top for Buick in more than 20 years. This is a clear attempt to compete with the BMW 4 Series convertible and some other luxury platforms out there. But the Sunday night event wouldn't be complete without a serious aha moment. And this year, it was the reveal of a large sedan. The Avenir is being called a concept, with a lot of specifics built in like 20-inch wheels, LED headlights, luxury seating for four, a direct injection V6 engine, and a 9-speed paddle shift transmission. It was developed offshore by the GM design team in Australia, and it might be considered a direct descendant of the Park Avenue. In some ways, it goes above and beyond that car. It's, it's purely a design statement. I think it does a good job of representing the vehicles that we're doing, the kind of passion, kind of energy that's in the Buick studio today. Luxury brand Infinity rolled out the Q60 concept, the latest in a series of what-if vehicles that they've been teasing the public with. The lines and influence make it clearly an updated version of the G37, and that begs the question, what is it? Another pretty or luxury offering or something with some teeth? Uh, uh, we haven't uh, yet given any details on what will be under the bonnet of these cars, but I can assure you uh, the Q60 will be a performance car. Expect the key part of the drivetrain for this to be developed in the joint engine partnership with Daimler Chrysler. So, stay tuned for more. This is Greg Morrison. We want to know what you think, so email us. The address is bumper to bumper TV at cs.com.